Yeah, welcome to another session of Sam's Economics uh, Tutorials. And in today's uh, video, I'm going to teach you how to draw a demand curve from a demand uh, function. That is when a demand function is given, you will be able to draw a demand curve. So uh, we have taken this example. They say, given uh, the demand function QD equal to 40 minus 2LP, Question. You see, we should draw a demand curve for a for a price range of five US dollars. So what we need to do, the first thing we need to do, we need to look for the price intercept and the quantity intercept. So we start with the demand function, which is given us we have a QD, we have QD to be equal to forty minus. 2p so to look for the quantity uh, intercept we will look for a point where the price is zero that is to get uh, the quantity intercept so that we use it to plot the demand curve so when we use a uh, georgi to be equal to 40 minus 2 into 0 that is a point on the uh, quantity as it exists where price is zero so QRG will be equal to 40. So let me just put it on a graph so that you easily understand. Okay, this is a price axis. And this is a quantity axis. Let's just say QRG, that's quantity demanded. So let's look for another point. This is a point where uh, quantity, uh, price is zero so let's substitute to look for the price intercept we also look for a point where quantity demanded is zero so we we are going to have zero to be equal to 40 minus 2p so therefore we are going to have well, we are going to have a uh, 2p to be equal to 40 so dividing both sides by 2 we are going to have 2 divide both sides by 2 p will be equal to 20 so we plot this on the graph on the price axis and the quantity axis so on this axis we are going to on the quantity axis we are going to have 40 then on the price axis we are going to have 20 so they say we should draw a demand curve for a price range of five US dollars. So let's substitute uh, five US dollars in the in the demand function. So let's use uh, this other pair. So let's substitute that in the demand function. Let's have QG to be equal to 40 minus 2 into 5. We are substituting five because they say with the for a price range of five US dollars. So what we are going to have is we have uh, two times five, we have ten. So forty minus ten, we are going to have thirty. That's for the quantity for the quantity axis. So we plot that on the graph here. We, we will have we have thirty here, then we have five here. So the second price range we use, uh, we have Georgie to be equal to 40 minus 2 into 10. So we are going to have, when you multiply uh, 10 by 2, we have 20. So 40 minus 20, we are going to have uh, 20. Okay, that's another price. Uh, that's the quantity, the next quantity for a price range of 10. So we have, we now have this, we have uh, 20 year, then we have 10 year, 10 US dollars. So we now look for another point on the quantity axis where the price is 15, because they say for a price range of five, that is price increases by five US dollars for each, uh, uh, quantity demanded so we have the next one we have Georgie to be equal to 40 minus 2 into 15 
it will be equal to when we multiply 2 by 15 we are going to have 30 so 40 minus 30 we are going to have 10 so for a price at for a price level of 15 us dollars we are going to have 10 units demanded at 15 us dollars let me just give you a simple uh, explanation when a demand function is given like this and you are asked to draw a demand curve it, uh, what you need to do is you look for the price intercept and the quantity intercept to get the price intercept you look for a point on the demand function where quantity demanded is zero and this is that we have done and this is that we have done with zero and we have quantity demanded to be zero and when we substitute we have p as 20 we have price as 20 this is it at this point then we also go to the to the quantity axis we look for a point where price we look for a point where price is zero so this is in this uh, uh, uh demand function so Jordi, we look for where price is zero so we have 40 minus 2 into 0 that gives us a quantity of 40 40 units so we therefore move to the second part where they say we should uh, draw a demand curve for a price range of 5 US dollars so we are going to substitute we substitute the various price levels in the demand function that is for the first uh, one we have 40 minus 2p uh, minus 2 into 5 for a price range of 5 for a price level of 5 we have 30 uh, units demanded as quantity for a price level of 10 US dollars we have uh, 20 units demanded for a price level of 15 US dollars we have 10 units demanded so that's it for this short video try to uh, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get most of my videos and try to follow up in this video so that when we get to solving questions involving uh, consumer surplus and producer surplus it will be easy for you because uh, it will be simple because we will mostly use a demand function and supply function so uh, try to follow up and subscribe to my channel thank you